Hey guys, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale for me jet. And here we have the Learjet 55, guys. Uh, I have very bad news again. Uh, you know, I, after I finished to putting my servos in, you know, my alerons, as you see right there, my new servos and my new servos on the elevators. And as you hear, everything works very nice and smooth. Uh, you know, after I finished doing that, guys, uh, I checked my trust here at the house. You know, I went almost full power and that thing was giving me a bunch of power. So then I reduced my throttle and I decided to go to the park, you know. And whenever I got to the park, I went and put the, the battery in and I was checking my control surfaces, you know. And then, you know, I was checking everything, basically doing a taxi test and everything. Then I bring it close to me and I went almost to full power again. And then I just saw a bunch of blue smoke, guys, coming out of this intake, the one of this size. You saw a bunch of blue smoke coming out of from, you know, from here, like, psh. <laughs> you just did that noise, you just went like, psh. And that's it. I believe this thing is burned up. The stupid speed control. <laughs> ah, for a cheap speed control, I guess. You know, uh, you know, I bought these things on a combo packet. It was the engine and the speed control together. And I, I don't know if you remember, guys. If you're subscribed to my channel, you know that I actually changed one of the speed controls because whenever I bought, I bought them things, I bought them two together, and one of the speed controls came bad. So I sent it back. I received the other one, you know, I honestly don't know which one is the one that I sent that I sent back But I mean one of them is is bad now. They are 45 amp speed controls So the Learjet 55 is gonna have to go back to the hangar for a while again Until I can get a nice pair of speed controls I actually going to get 50 amp speed controls now and I'm going to have to get two of them But I'm gonna have to wait for a while too to get them So oh well Looks like this Learjet doesn't want to fly, huh? <laughs> uh, you know, the, everything works fine. You know, my transmitter, the programming is fine. Everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Uh, just the speed control was bad. You know what I'm going to do, guys, though? Uh, because I'm, I, I'm not going to be available to afford the speed controls right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this EDF out of here and that speed control. And get ready, guys, because out of this bad experience, we're going to get something good out of it. Uh, I'm going to also, uh, I'm probably going to get the servos out of out of it, you know, basically the servos for the elevator and the alerons because they're just a screw in place, you know, so I'm going to get them four servos out of it and they are nice servos, they are metal gear servos and I'm going to build a, a Delta, you know, an airplane that works with Speedtail programming it's going to be an EDF2 and I'm going to do thrust vectoring on it, guys so get ready because we're going to get something good out of this uh, although the Learjet 55 is going back on the air, guys, it's just going to have to wait for a, maybe a month or so so till I can get them to uh, speed controls. So get ready. Uh, we have a very nice project coming soon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you next fly.